Hi guys, in this tutorial we're gonna create this awesome looking spider robot from the scratch and as you see we have three reference photos one from the back, one from the front and one from the left side so let's get started uh, as we see we have 800 and 800 pixels each on the width and height so let's choose in 3ds max 1.1 aspect ratio it, it will, let's make it one to one and that's way we can be sure that the size will be correct so let's drop this image into 3ds max viewport and choose the first one viewport background and press ok and as we see we have image inside of 3ds max viewport and <coughs> in order to be able to move it with the grid let's choose this from here 2d pan zoom mode and now we can move it like this okay now we need to create this robot from uh, from the ground and first let's press shift and f to make it right size because it's it can be stretched along our viewport and because our viewport is 16 to 9 it's like wide so the image won't be stretch like our report okay now let's match the camera first because this image is rendered with the camera which we don't know the properties like a field of view or the zoom and to find this we're gonna use this perspective match utility here go to utilities perspective match and press this show vanishing lines button and now we see this two red and two blue and two green and the green means Y axis and X means Z axis and red means X axis. So let's align it. Let's align it according to our model. <coughs> and luckily our model have good lines that we can see. Let's use these lines to adjust our camera. <coughs> This is the important step because we're gonna create the box according first. This we're gonna create this part of the robot, like a big part, and it's gonna be a box. And if we drag the box from here, and if our camera is not matched, the box size is gonna be wrong, and we don't get will not be able to get the right results. That's why we are matching the camera. Okay. Now our view is ready and now let's press view and create standard camera from view and press this button to hide vanishing lines. Okay, now if we can create if we create the box here, we're going to see that if we make it high, it's going to match with our model exactly. Let's press F2 and let's adjust this line with with our robot's height. Let's <coughs> do it like this, a little bit lower, or we can do it convert to editable poly, and we can adjust the height with our hand. Okay, and we can move the robot a little bit toward us, like this. Okay, <coughs> and we see, as we see, it's just a box, and the edges are chamfered. So let's select all the edges and press chamfer press chamfer and as we see it's exactly the same as our robot so press this button and from here we can see that it's a little bit it needs to go like this so let's go back to the front view top view and choose this vertices and move it like a little bit to the right until it's right size and we need to move this a little bit to front or not like this let's select this back polygon and the front polygon and let's scale it like a little bit inwards and let's move it a little bit front like this 
let's move it back a little bit too okay now I guess our model is right now let's create these upper details so let's select this polygon and inset it and let's press alt and x to see our model through and let's press F4 to see the edges and okay now we need to extrude it a little bit because it gets high higher okay let's extrude let's make it a little bit less okay now we need to cut this extrude part from here and from here and for this let's press ring and select the model like all the ringed edges and let's add two segments and make them separate a little bit okay and now we need to delete this middle part and this one also this one okay now let's select the empty border here and press cap to close it and now we need to connect these vertices this like this press connect okay now what we need to do is create this upper part and we're gonna create this part from this plane let's press shift and scale this polygon down let's like this and as we see it get it asks us if we create another mesh let's press clone to object we because we want this newly created plane to be different object and uh, right <coughs> after that we want this pivot to be in centered of this plane so we press affect pivot only and center to object <coughs> okay now we need uh, like move this polygon up and select this side edges and move it down like this okay let's scale it down scale it like a little bit like this okay now let's chamfer these edges let's chamfer. okay and as we see it's exactly let's uh, do perspective in this view press P and as we see our model is exactly like our image okay now we need to make give thickness to it and in order to save the texture space we're not gonna make add shell modifier we just select this all the edges uh, except these ones and press shift and scale it inward okay and now let's deselect these two edges from the both sides and move this upper edge down okay now it has a thickness let's fix it okay now let's select again by double clicking to it and now scale it inwards well, we can scale because in order to scale it both to the middle we need to choose this centered one okay now press shift and scale inwards okay good now we need to create this detail which is inside like a black thing inside and for this <coughs> let's select these upper polygons and press shift and m move it forward and okay and now let's select the newly created object let's affect pivot only and press this center to object because we want the pivot of this object newly created object to be in the center by doing this it's easy to manipulate object okay so let's select these edges first edge and the last edge and press bridge to create a plane polygon between them and then choose these empty borders and press cap to close it 
Okay, let's press Alt and X to make it visible. Let's do the same with all the objects and let's change the color to see <coughs> to see it clearly. Okay, let's move it back or maybe we just press align and press this object to make it aligned exactly and then scale it down. Actually, we can do it with the front view. Press F3 to see inside and let's move it to its right place. Let's move it like this. Let's move it like this. And then let's move it a little bit down. Okay, good. Let's go here. Okay, let's press perspective on the front. We can't we can move zoom in and zoom out from this camera, but we can't rotate because our camera will be yeah, different. That's why we if we want to look from the perspective, we need to create a new perspective view somewhere. Okay, now we need to create these details. And to create this, we can use this center polygon again. We can press shift and scale it down to create a new object. And then immediately after that, we bring this pivot to its center and scale it down and move it to its place. Uh, I just want to say one thing. If you're moving your object, you need to move it according this along these two axes, like x x axis and y axis. You don't need to move it along the z axis because the height is right. Okay, so we place it correctly and go back to vertices and bring it forward, and then select this polygon and extrude it. Okay, good. Now let's select this edge see from here select this edge and do chamfer like this <coughs> we can adjust this from here good okay okay but uh, as we see it from here it's really close to the edge. It's really close to this edge. And that's why we need to move it like a little bit to the left. A little bit to the left. Okay. This. And we make it higher. And we move it to front. Okay. Good. We can move it to the left a little bit more, and we can bring these two vertices higher, a little bit higher. Okay. Good. Now let's duplicate this and copy it to the right. Okay. Good. Now let's copy this object to the left and then press mirror and choose the right axis. Okay, now it's good. Okay. Okay. Good. Now let's create this object. And actually, this object is the same as the upper one, but a little bit shorter. So let's copy this, press Shift and move, choose to be different objects, and change the color. And then let's rotate it 90 degrees. And for this, let's press this angle snap tool so that we can stop exactly on 90 degree let's now move it back okay 
uh, like this, like this. Now let's move these upper vertices down. Okay, good. <coughs> let's do create this same black material, black object from this model. Now let's select this, 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 and this all up polygons. Let's move it front, choose it to be a different object and change the color. And now select this first edge and the last edge and bridge. Now let's select all these empty borders and press cap to close it. Now press this align button and align it to the previous object. Now let's go here and press affect pivot only and center to object. Now let's scale it down. Okay. Something like this. Now let's look from the front. Actually it's okay. We just need to move this a little bit like this. And also we need to move this entire object a little bit inside. Okay, good. Now let's have a look closer look to our gun. So we have one big and then two small and two cylinders. Okay. And it has a chamfer too. So let's go to perspective again. Press this. <coughs> Let's press inset. Let's scale it like this a little bit. Actually, let's do the same with the back polygon. Press inset. Let's do like this. Let's scale and extrude a little bit. Okay, let's see how it looks from the back side. Okay, it's just simple model. Okay, let's go back to front. Okay. Okay, let's press grow. And now let's detach this object. Now let's select these empty borders of the previous created model and delete it. And now select the borders and press cap. So our model is back to its original state. Now we have extra object here. So let's change the color. Okay, and actually I don't like these big chamfers here, so go back to front and make it small, like this, and let's move it like this, okay. Okay, something like this. And now let's choose symmetry because I want these chamfers from the right side too. Choose symmetry and choose the right angle. Okay. And now convert it to editable poly and double click to the edge which is inside which is on the middle. <coughs> and press control backspace. Let's do the same as the back one. Press control backspace and Let's get rid of them. Okay, now let's move it to the left. Okay, now we need to create these two objects. Okay, we can actually create these two objects from exact this model. <coughs> let's press shift and scale. Okay, press this clone to object. Let's make it different object and Affect pivot only, center to object, okay. Now go back to vertex mode and move it up. So we have this 
one and we need to make the chamfers a little bit smaller so I'll go back to the front let's scale it up let's scale this one too okay now we scale it a little bit down okay so now we can extrude press this polygon and extrude it okay let's see if we extruded it right size okay now let's move it down okay and as we see we have something connecting these two objects and for this we choose these polygons and press inset let's make it smaller okay and let's scale it like this and let's isolate it first okay um, let's delete this polygon let's delete this polygon too and go back to the top view and now let's move these edges back okay now select these polygons and press bridge okay good now let's end our isolation okay now we let's create two cylinders let's do it from front great let's make it 16 and let's delete these height segments let's make it a little bit smaller let's adjust the height and as we see we have everything in its correct place let's convert it to editable poly let's select this polygon and inset it <coughs> now let's extrude it inside let's do it by hand okay good now let's duplicate this to the bottom okay okay we can select all this and move a little bit down okay now we are in the right place from back side we see that our this our object is a little bit small from the back side so let's select this back vertices and move it like this so from here we can see that our object was small so we need to align it to be right size okay now our object is ready now let's select all this gun and press group make it group gun. <coughs> and let's shift and drag it to right and choose mirror to copy it to its right place now we have the guns ready now what we need to do is create this part let's see how we're gonna create it so it's basically box coming out from here and there are two boxes we have chamfers here also we have cylinder we have small cylinder and smaller cylinder <coughs> so from this middle cylinders there's something going out and from there we can we have two guns and then small box here and two small guns here okay so let's start creating first let's find the place we are gonna create this object so let's select this edge press ring to select all these round edges and press connect to connect it let's bring it closer and move it higher something like this let's separate a little bit 
move it to the right place okay good and because we gonna need this object too so we need to add press ring <coughs> and add two segments here and uh, let's separate it let's look the reference it's very close to the edge so let's go to perspective and make it separate so that our edge is really close to the, this one okay let's do a little bit less because we're gonna chamfer it now let's do a chamfer let's make it really small <coughs> now let's scale them from the center a little bit like this okay now let's press ok good okay well now what we need to do is select these polygons which is inside and press extrude now let's adjust the size of this polygons it's gonna be here but from the bottom our object is really big so let's select all these vertices up all these vertices and move it up okay good so all these little details we're gonna create with bump map normal map so we're not creating these details we're gonna just create these big details okay <coughs> so select this side edges and now we're gonna create chamfer let's see how big needs to be chamfer okay this is good so now let's create our cylinder we're gonna create it from left view okay something like this Okay. Okay. So let's make it higher. Yeah. Move it here and let's make it higher. Okay. Okay. Now let's convert it to the object. Convert this object to editable poly and select all these edges. Press connect and make it two let's scale it like this so this one is gonna be our first cylinder okay so this is gonna be this one we need to make it little bit to the left and to the right okay let's create another like this okay so this is how it's gonna be so let's select this and press grow select all these polygons and then press extrude to extrude it inside like this okay now select only this center part and press extrude okay now what we need to do is extrude these polygons First, we need to make inset. Okay, and then extrude upwards, but we don't want it to be extruded along this normal. It's just like extrude as a group. Okay, now we need to create another inset and then move it inside like this. Okay. We can even delete these polygons, but first we need to rotate it to be to look exactly to the front. Okay, so let's release this button to be able to rotate it as we want. Okay, now I guess we have right rotation. <coughs> okay, now we need to create these guns. 
we can move this a little bit to the right also we need to we can move this a little bit to the left to create a big hole for the guns and first let's select all the polygons and press outer smooth so that the individual polygons will not be visible here okay, also we need to make this center part empty so let's select this polygon and press choose extrude and let's extrude it inside okay and let's scale it down like a little bit okay good <coughs> Now let's see what what happened here. Let's isolate this, and it happens because of this uh, extra edges. To fix this, we just need to connect this vertex to with this vertex, and it's okay now. Okay, let's end this late. Now let's create guns. We have these objects and the smaller one and these two cylinders so let's create box from the view, front view let's create like this and move it like here ok let's come with the little poly delete these back polygons because we don't need it now let's move it back okay I just want to chamfer this side edges a little bit so that it looks not so straight so press chamfer make it really small actually we have some chamfer here okay let's give some chamfer to this edges too let's chamfer like this okay let's <coughs> duplicate this one more time and scale it down let's move it move this where it is back forward let's move it up all this one a little bit down let's move okay let's look here and see if we have right size like this front vertices and move it front and this one a little bit front too okay Good. Now, what we need is to create these small guns. Let's do it from front view and create and align it to so this object and move it front. Let's adjust the height a little bit. Okay, let's go to perspective view and see how it looks like. Okay, let's add, uh, connect, attach these two objects together, and let's select this back polygon which is not visible and delete it, and then select front polygon and choose inset. Let's make it small. and extrude it inside okay <coughs> now let's duplicate this gun to the right too and let's look from the front view if it's on right place we need to move it to the right a little bit too okay fine now okay
<coughs> what we need to create now is this like ice here and for this we need to add some edges first we need to add edge along this line okay let's select round edges and now let's press connect and create one and move it down like this okay so it's somewhere a little bit close to this edge we need to create another one a swing which is gonna which is going to, to this top one just connect and move it like this okay so what we need to do is select this edge and this edge and also this one and this one and scale it inwards okay good now we need to select this vertice and this vertice and press chamfer so that we're gonna create this look this hexagon look that we are after okay now let's select deselect these upper vertices and these lower vertices and the middle vertices and let's scale it back okay okay now let's bring it choose this one and this one and press collapse also let's choose this and this and move it down and let's collapse this two vertices <coughs> choose collapse okay let's select this one attach it to the upper vertice let's isolate it first to be able to see it clearly Let's select this vertex and this one, connect it. Also, this vertex and this vertex, connect it. Okay, now what we need to do is delete these polygons. Also, what we have inside, we need to delete it all. Okay, so let's double click here, move it a little bit higher because what we need to do is so. This part is twice as small as this part. So either we gonna move these edges down or we need to move these edges up. So I go with making these upper edges down a little bit and let's do the same with these lower edges. Okay, now let's select this edges and move shift and move forward okay now let's shift and scale it down let's go to front let's move it down like this let's adjust these vertices as we want okay <coughs> now let's move it back with holding shift so we have some thickness okay let's see so guys don't forget to save this model I have the same name Okay, let's move it a little bit more. Okay, and press this select those two edges and bridge. 
also select these two edges and press bridge to close this gap now let's double click it to select all the edges along the way and also select these two edges and press shift and move it inwards so we have nice details like this so we have <coughs> this this black metal part and it goes all the way down so let's select this border and sort of let's do like this let's select it by edge and deselect this newly created edges And this one and this one so we have only this part press shift and scale inwards okay but we don't want it to stick out so let's bring it back and collapse these two vertices loves and this one's too okay now let's select double click and as we see it gets all the way up but we don't want it so deselect these edges again and press shift and move it down so it's gonna be our black area here like this one it's gonna be so let's move it down like this okay and now so select, select this edge and this edge okay and maybe just bridge it now select this one and press cap now let's connect this empty vertices to each other Connect. Now let's select these polygons. Press F2 to see it. And as we see, it's really close to our object. So let's extrude it outwards like this. And let's <coughs> let's select this bottom part and press cap. Okay, this one is good. So, what is this here? Let's press this polygon and delete it. Let's create it from again. Choose, oh, we have something going on here. Like we have polygons here, which we don't need. okay we also select this back edge and press ctrl backspace to get rid of it now we need to fix this area so if we just press hold <coughs> press this and do the cap it's not going to work because it's not right because we want this part okay let's press cap and see what we can do it press this one choose connect and select this one this vertice and this vertice choose connect okay we just need to add one vertex to each edge we created now and now we need to connect this with the these vertices. Okay, let's do the same with this one. Now we need to move it to the place here. 
okay as you see it's right now let's correct it from front view okay we can move it up like this let's do the same with this one let's move it like this let's make it higher okay and let's fix it from here too so we need to move it back we need to move these vertex back which we, which was which we created after Now let's see. Press this and delete and choose again and press cap. Okay. Let's do the same. And choose and cap. Okay. Oh, good. Let's select these two vertices and press connect to fix this line error here and choose this one and press connect. Okay. So we have nice object so if we want to create <coughs> the exact flat plane let's select this one this one this one also this one and let's press Y button here to make sure it's exactly flat okay now as we see we have nice details <coughs> let's, like this Let's end isolate and see what we need to create after that. Okay, we need to create legs. So let's start. So let's have a look what is what the leg is actually. So this is box. And this is the box. This is the box. All these legs are boxes. But before we forgot to create this eyes, so let's create. So I, I guess we have one box here, small box, and one box is here, and we have four eyes, and also we have these small metal parts. Okay, so let's create these eye parts. I guess we, here we don't have these metal parts like this part is not going forward like we do we created so let's delete this and choose the border press cap and connect these vertices okay so let's create the box from here press shift and scale down okay let's detach it detach it because we want it to be separate object okay and let's move its pivot to its center okay So let's 
so it's gonna be here let's extrude it a little bit select this and press extrude also let's change the color okay now let's duplicate this press shift and rotate but first we need to press this button again because we want it to be exact 90 degree and scale it down move it up okay a little bit more okay like this now let's create cylinders let's do it from the front view let's do it 16 and move it front let's make it bigger so now let's convert the to editable poly and create these holes inside so let's inset it scale it down a little bit and then extrude okay now let's copy this down and also let's copy this to the right okay good now we need to create these small details Okay, so this is basically the box with the chamfer on the edge. Let's duplicate this and move its pivot to its center. Scale it down like this. Okay, and if we're gonna make the chamfer the edges, it's gonna, it's not gonna work because we scale it down by hand and if we do chamfer it's not gonna work properly as we see we have more from the left and less from the up to fix it we need to reset its x form so go to utilities and choose reset x form press reset selected and convert it to editable poly again now let's select this chamfer these edges and press chamfer and now as we see it goes right okay now let's move it forward and let's inset let's make it zero and scale it by hand and let's extrude it a little bit more okay now let's insert it again let's make it zero and scale it by hand okay now we can delete this and press shift and move by our hand let's scale it down let's move like this and press shift and scale and then press collapse okay so if we look from here we can see that our object is needs to be a little bit down a little bit needs to go a little bit down and also this one needs to be a little bit bigger okay now I guess our this because it's our eyes are in the middle of these two so it means we did it wrong this one needs to be needs to go back needs to go down so let's select this and delete this one and just extrude it
Okay, now let's duplicate this part to the right. And let's select this all these models and scale it up and move it down. Okay, and let's select this upper eyes, move it up. And let's select this one and move it up too. So this is how it's gonna be. Good. So you need to check everything with this view. And now, uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. okay, let's create this, start creating this leg. First, let's start with this part. So it's basically the box. It's basically the box. So let's create the box, something like this needs to go down okay and now let's convert it to editable poly and move it this part a little bit here select these two edges and chamfer like this okay and let's select these two edges and connect and make it two segments and separate it like this press ok and now let's connect these two vertices with this with each other select this one and this one press connect also select this one and this one and let's do the same with the bottom one okay and now let's select these polygons and extrude Just like this. Okay. And let's select these upper edges and these lower edges and do the chamfer. Let's make it small. Okay. And now, as you see, our first object is nearly ready something like this as you see it's exactly we need to make it a little bit longer so let's select these vertices and move it forward something like this and we need to make move it like this <coughs> okay now what we need to do is create this middle part so let's create a box. We can create a box from this polygon. Let's move it like this. Choose to be different object. And then move it pivot to its center. Okay. Let's select the, all these corners by pressing this one and press shift and <coughs> drag like this okay and <coughs> I'm sorry let's press cup to close it but it's black because it's flipped down flipped out so let's select this and press flip now we can see it okay now we need to create this cylinder and this one here so let's go to the cylinder and from the left view we can create one Just like this we can make it 16 segments let's move it to where we need let's have a look from the front view we can do it like this and we can adjust the height okay let's move it like this okay let's make it 
go back and let's make it scale it down make it a little bit smaller and let's move it inside the cylinder like this okay let's convert it to editable poly and let's attach it to our cylinder let's delete the polygon which is inside of the cylinder which we don't see okay now let's create the edge here let's move it like this and now what we need to do is to create this part so it's basically extrude here and extrude down like select this top polygon and select this bottom polygon and extrude it and scale it like this so it is exactly the same we can move it a little bit forward okay and now what we need to create is these two metal parts I guess we have it on this bottom side too so let's do like this let's select this upper polygon and lower polygon and press shift and scale it like this choose it to be different element and let's move it like this and let's move, press shift and drag like this okay let's select all these newly created objects polygons and press extrude let's make it a little bit less I okay now let's select them as elements separate elements and let's deselect the original one let's scale it like this and move it to the left okay and okay let's select these vertices which is closer to the surface of this metal let's move it to the right and let's select all of these and move it to the left so it looks exactly like our leg and we're gonna add these details everything with a normal lab we just need to create this center central object at least we're gonna we need to create this hole and for this let's select this one this polygon select all of these select all of these and press inset let's make it zero and scale it down by hand and if you as you see it goes to the center because these both sides are selected and in order to scale it along it's like it's the separate object we need to choose this first one now let's scale it down okay uh, as we see we have eight sides so we can create this exact like a cylindrical look here but in order to be exactly right we need to create this cylinder here okay now let's make it eight sides let's rotate it like this okay let's make it bigger good now let's move our vertices exactly to the right place we created this cylinder as a reference so that we know exactly where it needs to go okay good now we can delete this cylinder which we created okay now let's select our polygons and we can scale it a little bit more and let, let's extrude it inwards like this we can scale it down a little bit okay something like this it's good something like this oh we need to create the same here and here okay now let's 
we need to delete this part here so let's insert it because this is where the second part will go so I press extrude like this okay and go to the left and select these vertices and move it like this okay <coughs> good so inside is empty and the new part will go here so let's scale select all this and press shift and drag choose copy now let's move it exactly to its right place and actually it's the same thing we just need to scale it down like this and we also need to get rid of these extra details up and down <coughs> okay and we need to correct these ones so for this we select all edges and move it down to make it right we can move this inside part too let's move it down and let's move these parts too let's do the same with this part let's move like this we can even select this one, these vertices, and press Z to make it exactly straight. We can do the same with the upper one. Press Z to straighten it up. Okay. What we need to do is scale this part like this in order to have this spherical look so let's select this hole and move it to the left and we can scale it down too now let's adjust it from the top because when we scale it down we actually move this inward so let's fix this one and deselect it and fix the other one too okay and in order to fix it exactly right let's select all these polygons and press X button also select all these polygons and press X button and now it's great Actually, I guess we have one part here. One, like we have two details here, one detail here, zero details here. So let's scale it down a little bit. And let's also move it down and now let's select this sphere this hole and scale it back okay like this okay good now let's fix this inside parts this okay let's create this part so let's actually let's do like this uh, let's select this polygon and press shift and scale 
let's make it element let's scale it back like this now let's extrude outwards okay let's select this edge and move it to the right okay and now let's select this back polygon and move it to the right center inside of the cylinder yes okay <coughs> now what else we need to do is to create this one and it's basically the box select this one and move choose to be different object and let's see the length actually the length are the same with these three objects and this one is shorter okay so let's choose the newly created object and make the pivot go to its center let's scale it down a little bit okay let's move also let's create a cylinder let's duplicate the cylinder too different object let's attach this cylinder to our newly created object the last part of the leg let's go back here let's scale it down now let's scale like this okay let's like this small one let's have a look okay we can scale it down let's select this element and scale it down okay let's select these vertices and scale it down also let's delete all of this except these two something like this we can scale it up and select this nose part and scale it down also press cap to close good so now let's create the pivots <coughs> okay let's add a little bit details press select all these edges and add extra segment and move it here scale it up okay and let's select this one and scale it down so that we don't see inside the cylinder goes out okay now move the pivot to the center of this cylinder because we want it to, to be rotated from here something like this and let's link this to our this part and let's fix this pivot 2 let's make it centered to the cylinder let's move it like a little bit to inside let's rotate it and as we see, as we rotate, our lower part moves with it. So let's fix its pivot too. Let's move it a little bit to the right to make it center. Okay. So let's move it up. Oh, we don't. We forget to link our leg to this. Also, we forget to link this to this. Okay. So let's move it up, move it down, something like this. Okay, here's our leg, and if we move it like this, all the leg is moving with it. <coughs> so let's select this cylinder, scale it like this okay 
because it looks terrible and now it looks much better okay so let's rotate it like this now let's create this so first let's make it a little bit smaller because the cylinder sticks out let's scale it like this okay and now let's select this edge and press ring at two segments let's make it separate okay now let's go to the left view and try to create cylinder from here so choose this one also choose this one and this one okay press inset let's make a little bit smaller okay and select the vertices and move it to the left like this <coughs> so it looks like a cylinder so let's move it down like this move it up like this something like this move it to the right okay now let's bevel it let's make it a little bit smaller a little bit smaller not okay and let's move it inside okay okay we have also a big screw under this object i guess so let's create the one create cylinder let's get rid of this smooth and align it let's move it down okay something like this okay let's get rid of this polygon which we don't see okay also let's duplicate this screw to all this so let's press shift and rotate let's rotate it 90 degree and let's press this to be able to do that let's do it 90 degree okay so now let's move it here scale it down let's move like this something like this okay good now let's scale it like this also let's add this detail here so let's scale it like this okay select this one and this one and connect select this one and this one and connect okay now let's select this and extrude it let's extrude it inside okay so it looks like more looks like a screw okay now let's select this and move let's clone it to object and let's mirror it and let's move it back to where it needs to be and then select this one and attach it so now we have screws on both sides okay so now let's copy this screw all over this place 
so I like to copy here. And as we see, it's not right, so let's scale it down. Okay. Now scale it up by selecting this one. Like this. Okay. So let's copy it one more time. Scale it down. Okay. Let's fix it. Okay. Now let's fix this one too. Okay, now let's attach it where it needs to be. So attach this one and attach it like this. And now let's select this and attach all these screws okay it's better we change the color okay <coughs> now let's place it to its right place Let's double click to it to select all these dependencies and let's copy it three times. And now let's move it to the right. Also, let's select this, rotate it 90 degree, like 180 degree, and move it to the right place. Something like this. Let's rotate it like 35 degree here and 35 degree here. Thirty five. Also, this one thirty five. Now move it down. Okay. Good. <coughs> so I guess we finished uh, everything except this back side. Except this back side, and let's see what we got there. Okay. <coughs> what we got is oh, we have also this details here let's we forgot to add this ones okay it's just basically the box and we can create it from these polygons so let's select this on this one this one and this one and we'll press shift and move it down okay choose it to be different object and choose it, change the color. Let's make a different color and select all these elements. Press scale and scale it down. Make sure that they all scale by their self. Okay. Now let's make it a little bit down. Okay, now press extrude. and press extrude like this 
and now let's press this choose all the borders empty borders and we need to move it inside for this we choose the local and move and as we see these two are okay now let's select these two and move it like here or we can make it by hand one by one because it doesn't matter how it goes so why it's different from others so let's move it like this okay now let's select this upper edges okay and this one got weird something weird happening here so let's select this one and move it down like this okay <coughs> so select this upper edges now we're gonna chatter it so press chamfer mm, okay good okay now we need to create this this one it's like one big box with the uh, these, these parts are chamfered also we have four more boxes okay so let's select this one and press shift and scale let's choose it to be different object <coughs> select this and let's move it up it's really up okay and let's extrude it a little bit it's really small okay now let's select edges like this one and press ring to select all of this choose the view normal and then chamfer it okay a little bit good also we need to create these four chamfer boxes so let's make it pivot coits to the center now let's create the box as you see I always try to create objects new objects from the previous one because we don't need to align it that way so let's uh, let's see how long will it take to align it actually it take a little bit more time than creating these objects from the previous ones so let's move it like this let's convert it to editable poly and let's <coughs> double click to select this back polygon and delete it and now let's select this side edges and add chamfer it's a little bit more okay now let's move it inside a little bit let's select this border and move it to us okay so let's move it up and shift and drag down to copy so let's select three and copy it three times okay now let's attach it to one another also we'll let's change the color of this object to see it clearly okay let's scale it up a little bit okay now what we need to create is this last part so we have basically one box we have another box coming out of it goes like this so let's start creating select this one 
So select this one and select this one. Press shift and scale it down like this. Choose it to be different object. Okay. So select it. <coughs> move its pivot to its center. And then scale it like this and move it up. Okay. Now let's change the color. And let's extrude it. Okay, let's make it smaller. Okay, now let's select this edge and this edge and press ring to select all the edges and do chamfer. Let's make it smaller. Okay. Okay, now let's actually let's wait and not do chamfer. Let's press this and this polygon and press inset and let's make it scale it down by local like this okay now let's extrude it okay let's select this edge and this edge make it chamfer as we see we have chamfer here Okay, good. Now let's create our cylinder. Oh, okay, now we can make it make the edges chamfered. Because if we first chamfered and then extruded, uh, this one will not be a box. That's why we extruded the box out of it and then we chamfered it out. Okay. <coughs> good now let's see what we have so we have this part going up and extrude like this so let's select this one and this one extrude it like this not this much okay and select this polygon and extrude it like this and let's select this one up let's do inset okay let's scale it down let's do it here scale it down or oh, what happened okay now let's extrude Let's extrude. Actually, I guess I scale it too much. Let's extrude it. And again. And again. I guess I'm gonna move it a little bit right. Let's see where my object is. I guess I'm going to move it like this. Also, I'm gonna move it like this. Okay. We also need to scale this inside part a little bit, or actually we don't need, we just need to scale this part, make it like, let's move it down a little bit, these vertices, like this, let's select these polygons and inset it, okay, let's Choose the local and move it to inside a little bit. Okay, let's extrude. 
and let's delete this one, this H. Press Ctrl and Backspace. Actually, I guess it's not delete. We're gonna need to make a chamfer. Okay. Now we can delete it. Press Ctrl Backspace. Okay, and now we need to create antenna from this. So let's add one line. <coughs> Go to front view and press this one and this one and let's make it let's place it to its right place so it needs to go here let's go to our perspective let's make it renderable and let's scale it down like this and let's adjust the height okay mm -hmm. now we need to create this one so let's select this and move it like this also do it one more time now select these newly created segments and scale them down actually I can even detach them because the thickness of this new objects are not the same also we need to move it apart from each other so let's select it and press view and let's select center and move it apart from each other and uh, let's like point two like this Now let's add a little box here. <coughs> Very little box. Let's align it. And let's rotate it. Now let's scale it down. Let's rotate it more. Let's scale it like this. And I guess it's fine. Let's scale it down too. Okay, let's move it down. Let's move it up. Okay. Let's come it to editable poly and attach everything together. About antenna. Okay. Now let's duplicate this antenna to right too. Okay. Now what we need to add is the cylinder. So let's create one. Create the cylinder. Let's make the side 16 and make it smooth. And let's place it where it needs to be placed. And move it up. Let's make it small. Something like this. 
I guess this one needs to go down. Like this. So that the cylinder looks bigger. Okay, let's make it 24. Let's make it bigger. And let's make it a little less radius. Okay. Also need to convert it to editable poly and create these levels. Select this and this press bevel let's make it smaller something like this and select this top polygon and press inset and choose extrude Okay, something like this. Okay. Now let's duplicate this. To its right place. Okay. Okay, good. Now we have our object ready see if we left anything so all these details we're gonna work with normal maps so don't worry about that so all we need is our model and it's ready so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and next tutorial we're gonna open the UVs of this model and send it to Substance Painter and give it create the textures for this. And then we come back to the 3ds Max and we gonna render it. So I hope you like this and see you on the next tutorial. Thank you.